Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we are looking at momentum. And momentum is defined as um, the product of the mass of an object and, the, and its velocity. Well, I'll just read out this definition here. Momentum is the tendency of an object to continue moving in its direction of travel. Momentum is calculated from the product of the mass and velocity of the object. So momentum has the unit, unit for momentum is P. So the product of the mass of an object multiplied by its velocity will be defined as momentum. So P is equals to M times V. So this is a, a very simple thing. For example, if we have a, a car, there's our car, and our car has a mass of 1,000 kilograms, and it is moving at uh, 20 meters per second, then what we can say is 1,000 times... 20 will give us 20,000 kilogram mass is measuring uh, unit of mass is kilogram velocity is meters per second now what I will focus more here on in this section is the law of conservation of linear momentum the rule says the total linear momentum of an isolated system is constant an isolated system has no external forces acting on it from outside. And an equation that goes as we goes with as we say usually P before is equals to P after. So your momentum before in most cases is M1 V1 initial plus M2 V2 initial is equals to m1 v1 final sorry not i plus m2 v2 final so that is the equation that we usually apply here so the, uh, in the in the old system we said m1 u1 plus m2 u2 is equals to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 that is also something that is applied but not in our context so so here we have m1 v1 initial plus m2 v2 initial is equal to m1 v1 final plus m2 v2 final. So this is important when we do sums for momentum and these are the type of sums that will be usually asked in the exam. Another important thing is we must take a direction as positive. So we will assume we're taking the right as positive. So let's look at an example that we have here. I have uh, a beautiful uh, Java applet. We have a mass, and uh, the mass of the blue uh, car is one kilogram, and the mass of the red car is two kilogram. And the mass of the blue car is one meters per second, and the mass of the red car is zero meters per second. And we want to calculate what happens after that. So let's just write it down. The mass of our blue car is one kilogram, and the velocity of the blue car is one meters per second and the mass of the red car is two kilogram and the velocity of the red car is zero meters per second so we we'll just finalize that mass of blue car one kilogram mass of red car two kilogram mass of blue car one kilogram mass of red car zero at the beginning right now what will happen afterwards what will be the mass uh, what will be the velocity of the two cars afterwards? So the mass of the blue car is one, right? And uh, we need a little bit more information here because we don't have the, uh, the velocity finally of each of these cars. So let's just take one of the cars and what we will do, I will play the applet and we will look at one of what happens to the one car and we will verify what will happen to the other car in our diagram so here goes so the so the blue car is going it's hitting the stationary red car and then what happens in this case they it moves backwards and we see that the blue car moved backward at 0 0.33 meters per second and the red car moved forward at 0, 6, 7 meters per second. So we will assume that they, they give us 0, 0,67 meters for the red car and we will verify that the blue car 
moves backwards at 0 0,33 meters per second. Let's see if it is the case. So we'll say that after the collision, the, we have a red car and a blue car. The blue car of mass one kilogram traveling at one meters per second. It's a stationary red car of two kilograms. After the collision, we see that the red car moves forward at 0 0,67 meters per second. And we want to calculate the velocity of the blue car after the collision. P1 final. So here yeah, one times one is one plus zero is equals to V1 V1 final plus we say two times point zero comma two times point six seven which gives us one comma three four and if we take it onto the other side we see that it becomes minus 1 comma 3 4 plus 1 and we can see that v1 final the velocity of the blue car final will be minus 0 comma 3 4 meters per second and what does that mean v1 final will move at 0 comma 3 4 meters per second to the left because we are taking right as positive now let's just look at that again to 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 finalize it we see here that this was two kilograms and this was zero and if we let it go we see that the blue car moves at one the red car is standing still and after the collision the red car moves at 0 0.67 and the blue car moves at 0 0.33 after the collision now the reason that it doesn't move at 0 0.34 uh, because that will be a rounding of issue 0 0.3 recurring. So this is a simple sum related to linear momentum and we will stop there. Next, uh, our next lesson we will do more uh, calculations referring to the law of conservation of momentum. Thank you very much for listening.